Hello and welcome to day four of the Ollie Bomber Jacket So along. Again, my name is Trissa. Um, today we are, or in this video, um, we're going to be attaching our lining to our mane. Um, so first things first, if you are sewing with the serger, um, we are going to take our, um, our sleeves and we're going to trim them right now by one eighth of an inch. Um, since when we, if you used your serger on attaching your cuffs, um, chances are you cut off a little bit. If you did not use a serger, don't worry about doing this step. Um, so let's just go ahead and cut off um, one eighth of an inch real quick. Okay. So now, if you remember um, when we attached our um, our waistband, we're going to do the same thing, marking the center and um, the quarter points. And then you're going to repeat that for the lining. Actually, if you remember, um, there's a good chance that your side seams will be will be some of the quarter points. If you want, you can double check that just to make sure. At least mark the center. Now we're going to take our jacket and our waistband right sides um, together and match up our pins. Okay, now that that's all pinned, um, I like to um, go in the back waistband, so somewhere in between the two side seams, and I like to put a double pin where I'm going to be marking off not to sew, because remember we need to have about a four inch opening so we can flip our jacket inside or right side out um, once we're done. So um, I just like to do this, see the double pins? that we all sew to here and I know to stop and then I'll start back up here and then sew the rest of the way. Um, that way I have an opening and then it will hand stitch that closed. Um, for future reference, if you don't like doing that to the waistband, you alternatively could do something similar to a side seam on the lining, leaving a four inch opening there. That way you can hand stitch the side closed rather than the waistband closed. Um, but really, it doesn't matter as long as there's an opening somewhere, preferably on the waistband or the side seam because it looks cleaner. Um, so you can turn it inside out. So now we're going to go ahead and sew that up um, and then we will come our deck. Okay, so now you should have this really long, weird jacket thing with our hole to turn it later. So now we are going to so the rest of our zipper to make it reversible. Okay, so now um, we are basically taking our lining and we're gonna be wrapping it around that zipper. We're gonna match up um, the waistband. Um, a lot of material now to deal with. 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna find a few clips. Okay, so I wanna match up your waistband seam from your main and your lining. I'm just going to clip that. And then match up your top of your jacket. Again, how we attached it before. And, oh, I really want those clips. Hold, oh, please. Okay, so if you're like me and your fabric is really flimsy and stretchy, well, I guess it's not really stretchy that way, but it's really like kind of floppy, that might be something where you would want to use your wonder tape um, to help hold it down. But just like before, we're going to line up our lining to the end of the zipper tape, how we did when we attached it to our main. Pin or clip it. And if you're doing the side with your um, zip pull, just be careful you don't um, have it fall off. And then make sure you it's not getting in the way um, when you're sewing it. <laughs> so now that that's pinned, um, we're going to work, be working on the right side or the main side and we're going to be stitching along that same stitch line that we did before when we attached the main. Um, so go ahead and start from the bottom, use that same stitch line and go all the way up using your zipper foot. Um, and then we're going to be doing the exact same thing on the other side. So just go ahead and do um, so both sides and then we will come back okay now we should have our jacket sewn together at the zipper on both sides ha ah, wasn't so bad right now we're going to do the collar um, so you want to make sure that your sleeves are tucked inside and you want to make sure your collar is tucked inside. Go ahead and match up your, um, your shoulder seams together. And then we're going to just pin the rest of the way down. I'm going to start in the middle. Let's see, your, your collar to be sandwiched. And remember, your should fit nicely since we did not sew our zipper down when we basted our collar on. Um, to make 
make sure your collar is tucked behind that zipper tape. Basically you go lining, zipper, collar, main. Okay, so now we are going to sew our collar and um, make sure we are going, you want to sew through your zipper and your mane and your lining and your collar to make sure it's all enclosed. So we're going to sew all the way down um, into the end. If you have a metal zipper, uh, make sure you use your hand wheel at the start and the finish to make sure you don't nick your teeth with your needle because you may break it. Um, but yeah, um, so just go ahead and sew that on, um, and then we'll come back. You should have your collar sewn, all enclosed. So now we're going to take these scissors, and we're going to clip the corner. However, do not clip the stitches that you, or do not clip the stitches in that corner where like your zipper and the um, collar seam meet uh, you don't want to clip that um, so we're basically just going to clip this corner here See? Do the same thing for this side. See the corner. I'm just gonna clip it off and not go through all of the stitches that we made. See? Okay, so done. Okay, we're almost there. Um, do you want to get your sleeves out? Okay, so now we're going to attach sleeves together so it's nice and beautiful. Okay, so this can be a little tricky and you want to make sure you put them together to where they're not going to be twisted. Um, and so I like to just start here with my sleeve, here's my shoulder seam, and here's my sleeve. See, it's nice and straight. I'm just gonna get my um, my seam. Take it just like this. And we're gonna put it inside the cuff, inside of it. And then we're gonna match up the sleeve. See, I'm gonna put a pin on there or clip and then we're basically just going to go all the way around and attach it together so I like to just stick it all the way inside and then kind of stretch it a little bit so I can make sure it's all evenly distributed you can um, find the, the halfway point on both of them and mark that as well, it makes it a little bit easier for you. Um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and remember, if you didn't do it before, you want to make sure if you're using a serger that you trim off an eighth of an inch off of your sleeve, since when we attach these two together, we are not going to be cutting anything off when we serge it. If you're using a sewing machine, um, it doesn't apply to you. So if you are doing a um, reversible jacket, this is where I highly suggest 
that your thread, um, when you're attaching the lining, that, well, I just, just in general, that your, um, the, so if you look here, um, this, this thread, this white thread here, um, when I'm attaching the, the, cu the cuff, if I'm not sewing, I need to, you want to sew a tiny bit over your existing stitches, because if you don't, then you will be able to see these stitches on um, the out on the right side. So if you're doing an, a reversible, I would suggest matching your um, thread really good to your cuffs if you think, um, or at least don't do a dark color with a light color because you'll be able to see, see it through. Um, but I'll show you what I mean because I probably won't do it perfectly. But if that makes sense. Um, so once it's all, it's all pinned now, and you want to make sure you're not, um, you're not twisted at all. But again, when we are serging this on, you want to make sure your needles, your needle, um, we don't want to cut anything off. So disengage your knife if you need to. We want to go just barely past um, the seam line and that'll make sure that your stitches won't be showing through on the right side. Um, so we'll go ahead and sew that up and then we will come back. Okay, sleeve is attached. It does not look like it is twisted at all, which is good. So here, let me see if you can see it. So my original thread was white, and my um, new thread is gray. So you can see that I barely went past the white thread when I stitched this on. So I can hopefully not see the white thread on the right side. I still need to do my other one, but I'm going to show you what it looks like from the right side really quick. Hmm. So I successfully did it. See, you don't see any, you don't see any white thread anywhere. So if I were to sew with, um, and be inside that white thread, you would see it here on the cuff. Um, so that's why you want to make sure you slightly, ever so slightly, go past, um, go past it. Oh look, you can kind of see it here. Let me see if you can see it on the camera. Um, let's see where is it? It's right here where this pink is. Let's see if I'll focus. You can kind of see it right there. It's a little bit of white. And so, um, I'll take a picture. I'll try to take a picture later. But yeah, so that's what happens. If you, if you go inside of your, of your original thread, you'll see it in the cuff. Um, it might not be that noticeable, but just be aware that that can happen. Um, if you don't stitch it like that. So you want to make sure you go just barely outside of your st original stitches. Um, but once you do both cuffs, go ahead and turn your jacket right side out. Okay, we should have both of our sleeves connected. Our jacket looks a little funky. But now... You can go ahead and take your jacket through that hole that you created. It's the moment of truth. You can find out how well we did our zipper in our collar.
Now we're gonna try it on, even though we still need a top stitch, but Let's see how it looks. My zipper looks pretty good. This is actually my best one yet. Oh, this French terry is nice. Woohoo! Look at that. I have a jacket, almost. Not bad. Hopefully yours looks as good as I feel like mine looks. Um, but yeah. Our wonderful jacket should be all done, except for top stitching. Um, so again, you can close up your lining by, huh, um, by pinning it and stitching along the waistband, making sure you're stitching the hump of both of the um, seam allowances, the seams that we did, um, or you can hand stitch it closed. I actually have not decided if what I'm going to do yet. I might try to stitch it, just because this is a heavier weight fabric, so I might probably be able to do it a little bit better, but I'm going to do that last in case it looks terrible and I have to unpick it so you don't have to see that. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now we are going to be um, top stitching all the way around from our one zipper all the way up around the collar and then back down um, the zipper. Yeah, so all the way, all the way around. Um, so sometimes I find it helpful, at least on the zipper, if you want, you can put pins in it to kind of help keep your fabric flat on both sides because you don't want it to bubble. Um, or when you're um, stitching it, just make sure you're kind of continually pulling the lining and the main away from the zipper so it's nice and flat. Um, but I'm going to throw a few um, a few pins in there. Um, just see if that makes it a little bit better. Just a few. There we go. So now, um, I'm going to sew a fourth of an inch from um, your end of your fabric. So you're going to do <coughs> one fourth of an inch all the way around. This is going to be your top stitching around and the collar. Um, and um, if you don't want your thread to show, um, then do a matching thread on the one side and then a, a matching thread underlining on the other side. So I'm just going to be using navy and white. Um, and so let's go ahead and top stitch this bad boy um, and then come back. Ta-da! see nice and top stitched remember we came up here stop pivoted went around the collar stop pivoted and went down inside looks 
pretty good as well. See my stitch lines. Look at that. We have a jacket. Yay! Um, if you're like me, I still need to close up my hole. So it's not quite ready yet, but it's wearable. No one will know that I have a hole in my jacket at this point. But, yeah. So I was saying a bit ago that I wasn't sure if I was going to top stitch my waistband or not. And I did. Um, so it actually looks really pretty dang good on the right side. See? But it looks terrible on the wrong side. <laughs> Good thing you won't be able to see it because it's not reversible. See? You see my stitches are all uneven. So it is really pretty hard to get to sew on the bump of the both waistbands. It's, so this is why I hate... I think this is why I didn't do it on my, um, I didn't top stitch my last, on the one, I ended up picking it all out because it was supposed to be reversibles, but then I ended up getting the wrong zipper, but then it looked really bad on the inside, or I think it looked bad all, maybe it looked bad on the inside, I don't know, but, oh well, you can't, you can't tell if you look at it from the right side, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, anyway, uh, tip for you. So, um, that spot where we needed to either hand stitch or top stitch closed, I highly, highly, highly suggest using Wonder Tape to hold it in place. That's what I did. Um, or else it would have been impossible because my, uh, lining was kind of floppy and ironing it wouldn't do anything. Um, and so using Wonder Tape helped hold it in place, especially because your waistband is going to be slightly smaller than your lining, so you're going to have to stretch it a little bit um, to fit. And so using the Wonder Tape is wonderful, and it definitely helped a lot keeping it nice and um, keeping my my lining matching up to my waistband. And I pinned it a bunch. I probably could have pinned it more to get it more straight, but well, I'm not ever gonna look at it on the on the wrong side anyway. But anyway, it's done officially. It's officially done. Um, yay! So hopefully your jackets look beautiful. Can't wait to see all of the finished ones. Um, but yeah. Thanks for joining me on the sew along. It was fun as we all sewed along. Um, I'm going to have a blog post up for some feedback that I'd love to hear from you. It's anonymous, don't worry. Um, but I'd love to know some pros and cons, um, mainly cons, whatever I can do to make the sew along better for future sew alongs. Um, so I'd love to hear from you, and I can't wait to see those jackets, and we'll be announcing winners, the two winners on Saturday. Don't worry, tomorrow is a catch-up day, so you have time to catch up if you are not quite there yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great day, and can't wait to see those jackets. See ya! But now we can do a happy dance. Okay, anyway, I'm done. <laughs>